we fell. I fell. Oh, man, we let the we let the whole city down. Jalen, can you can you kind of process this season for you in this moment um, and the season for the team? It's been a it's been a hell of a year. Um, I, those guys in that locker room um, are warriors, resilient. It's been an honor um, to share the locker room with a lot of those guys and. Despite whatever circumstance you know that we've had this year, we've rose to the occasion. You know, um, we got to this point and um, we came up short. Um, obviously, there's a lot that can happen for you over the course of this summer. Have have you been able to kind of think about your future here and and what you're hoping for? I expected to win today um, and move on. And that's what my focus was on. That's what my focus has been on. Uh, we failed. I failed. And it's hard to think about anything else right now, to be honest. Um, uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Jalen, what is going to be the focus for you individually and as a team going forward off this? Like, what do you carry from this? Uh, more pain coming up short. Uh, um, all in all, I think the year was a great year. Those guys in that locker room, you know, through any circumstance have stepped up, you know, even from the start of the year, I think started off with our coaching staff, with all the different turmoil that we've experienced throughout the year, injuries, whatever. You know, these guys have been a resilient group. So it was just an honor um, to play with and share the floor with, you know, our guys and our coaching staff. And, and it's pain that we are here coming up short. Jalen, you've obviously had a lot of success since coming here individually and, and as a team in particular, but haven't been able to take that final step. You got in close a lot. What do you think is missing? Um, you know, either whether it's personnel-wise, just with, with this group itself, like what do you think is stopping us from taking that final step? Uh, I'm not sure. All I know is uh, we had opportunity and we, we came up short. And, you know, we fought hard to get back into the series and um, had a game on our home floor and we, we came up short. Um, that's all I can really gather from the situation right now. Um, Jalen, um, you guys talked when the series was kind of falling apart at the beginning about having kind of a crisis of the defensive identity, and that kind of came back for these last few games, and tonight it seemed to fall off. How, I guess, how crucial was defense this year to help you guys figure out how to even get into your offense? And when you're not getting stops, as you saw tonight, how hard was it for you guys to figure out how to try to run an offense? Yeah, defense has you know, allowed us to get to this point, and you know, offensively, we didn't play our best. And defensively, we were decent tonight, not good enough. But um, offensively, it just seemed like we just couldn't hit a shot. And it just put more pressure on our defense. We had a bunch of good looks, and nothing went in. And um, we all got to sit back and reflect from that. Like like I said before, I mean, we failed. Um, and it's hard to, to pull anything else from that, from the situation. but. You know, it's been a blessing to play the game of basketball to this point. You know, one game from the finals, and it stings, like, incredibly. And it's hard even being up here and, you know, talking about it. But um, all I can say is give credit to the group that we had um, this season. Give credit to our coaching staff that we had this season. You know, we um, had a lot of ups and downs. We had a lot of, you know, things that was going on internally, et cetera. And, and we fought. You know, we fought our way back from down 3-0, and we got to this position, and we came up short. How do you evaluate the job Joe did from taking over just a few days before training camp, kind of dealing with all the emotions that came with that situation, to then showing up for the first time as a head coach in the playoffs and dealing with kind of the, the ups and downs of this playoff run? 
I give Joe my respect. Um, tough situation to be in, you know, um, and he took it and he, he took it head on and ran with it. You know, we had two um, rookie head coaches in the last two years and he, and Joe picking up from, you know, Ime as an interim starting off and then um, progressing as being the, the head coach just fully took, you know, that challenge on and led us to this point, you know, and that's a tough position for a guy to be in. It's a tough position for a team to be in, um, you know, coming off of a finals run, but we didn't make any excuses and I'm not making any excuses now. We came up short, um, but I still give my respect to our coaching staff and that group that we had on the floor. Jalen, um, with Jason hurting his ankle on the first play of the game there, um, from your viewpoint, was it how tough was it offensively to get going knowing that he wasn't at full strength there? And do you feel like you maybe put too much onus on yourself at times with the turnovers and stuff to try to kind of make up for what he clearly wasn't able to do from a physical standpoint? <sighs> yeah, uh, just a terrible game. Um, when my team needed me most, like uh, uh, JT hurt his ankle, first play of the game, you know, um, and you could see it like swelling up at, on on him, and he couldn't move out there. It was tough for him, and you know, my team turned to me to to, to make plays and, and et cetera, and I I came up short. I failed, and it it's tough. Um, uh, you know, I give credit to Miami, but just a terrible job. Jalen, um, Malcolm Brogdon uh, thought that collectively the team played a little bit tight. Uh, Miami was looser. Did you personally feel tight? No, uh, absolutely not. Uh, um, I, I sensed that, you know, once we started hitting shots, I sensed that we were, you know, a little bit tight and I was trying to create and, and make plays. And in Miami, they just, they, the way they guard, the way their defense is, they try to take that stuff away. And uh, I tried to get my team going and I tried to make plays and it didn't work out for me tonight. And Jalen, how do you, capitalize with you and Jason still here for however long. How do you capitalize on this championship window you have? You guys are very close and something may be needed. What is needed and how do you capitalize on that window that's open? Uh, you take it on the chin. Um, um, you learn from it. And as hard as this one is to swallow, um, you get better, you know. Like, tough one, tough one, tough one for me, tough one for our team, tough one for our organization, and, you know, extremely bad timing. And you just, you learn, and it's a part of the journey. Um, this is not the end. Um, we got a lot, of, a lot better to get, a lot of better basketball to play. And you just got to look at it like that. Um, but tough night. Final two questions, Tim and Abby. Jalen, obviously you mentioned about the future you guys have ahead. This summer you have some decisions to make in terms of an extension. Boston, if it gets offered, what is kind of your mindset about that this summer? And what is your expectation for how that will play out? Um, say that again. In terms of in terms of the possibility of you getting an extension this summer, especially after making All NBA, what is kind of your thought process going into the summer, and how do you expect it to play out? You guys, what's my thought process? Um, I really don't. Uh, you know, uh, I don't even really know how to answer that question right now, to be honest. Um, my thought process is, you know, take it one day at a time, um, focus on, you know, getting better, um, focus on, you know, 
what the future holds and, and, and see where we are from there. Um, I, I guess I don't really know how to answer that. And then Jalen, just how much pride do you take in the fact that the way you guys battled back and, and what lessons do you take from this run? Yeah, like tremendous um, effort from our group. You know, our group was amazing all year, consistent. You know, this was one of the most together groups that we've had. And it sucks, you know, right? You know, uh, you know, even in the moments where we went down 3-0, that group, you know, stayed together. And even in the midst of the game, you know, tonight where it was rough, uh, this, this group was you know, um, tremendously resilient. You know, tough luck with JT going down. Um, you know, we tried to compensate, and it just didn't didn't work the way we thought it would. And a lot of that is on me. So, you know, I just gotta take it on the chin, and it is what it is. Presented by your New England Ford dealers, built for America, built Ford proud.